All right. Okay, everybody. Sorry, running a little bit behind, but I'm here. I made it. So uh, it's chilling. Just getting everything together, waiting for everybody to turn up. Hopefully, someone turns up. So let's see what's going on in the, in the spaces. Hmm, big going on. Go away, a fire lab is in the house. I'd say thanks for dropping in, mate. So it was a big supporter of the uh, of the of the space. Good to see you, mate. Just uh, chilling for a sec, just so we wait for some more people to turn up. I am running a little bit behind, just because uh, my sons uh, decided to wet the bed, so I had to go uh, deal with that. <laughs> but uh, it's all good. We're here. We made it. Also, if you're able to, uh, feel free to come up and chat, mate. And say. It's uh, always a uh, much more entertaining. I've got someone to talk to, but uh, if not, it's all good. Just appreciate you uh, spending a bit of time, bit of, t bit of time with me today, this evening, or tonight, wherever you might be. That's a good thing. Hopefully, um, come Sunday, or the, the the clocks over here in the UK change, so hopefully we can sync sync everything back up to the proper times. But I uh, hope you've been keeping well, mate. Hope you've had a, having a good week so far. Been a few things happening in the space. We can talk about. Hopefully, uh, someone someone comes in to chat with me. We can get this thing going and talk about what's been going on at the, the Ghost Spider reveal, the animation behind that, which has been getting a lot of mixed reactions. Of course, we had the uh, the comic drop, which uh, again had uh, mixed reactions. Some some got it, some didn't. What else is going on? Oh, yeah. Cryptoys has got their Yoda drop. If you're in your Cryptoys. So I'll just uh, chill for a few more minutes. So just wait for everybody to come, come in. Always like to give everybody at least, least, least 10 minutes. To go. Hey, you know, bro, how are you, mate? Thanks for dropping in. Feel free to come up and chat if you're able to. I am I am running a little bit behind. Also, if if my audio is coming in a bit scratchy or a bit uh, a bit screwy, let me know because I can check I can fix it. But uh, yeah, so as I say before, I was just running a little bit behind because uh, my son decided to wet the bed, so I might have to go uh, deal with that. But uh, it's all good. It's all all sorted now. I was was hoping that he wouldn't want me to stay stay and sit with him because that would uh, stuff up my space. But it's all good. Hey, BVNFT. Say, Tony. Say, thanks. Thanks for dropping in, mate. I said, we're just uh, just warming up. I was saying I was running running a little bit behind because my my son decided to wet the bed, so I had to go uh, go deal with that. But I'm here now. Oh, okay. Got a request. Excellent. I'll I'll turn this off now. Hey, bro. How are we? Yo, I just walked in the house from work. I'm blasted from the sun. Give me 10 minutes and I'll come and, and chat. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I told D, she'll probably pop in as well. What's going on, VVNFT and Fried Lab? It's, oh, there she is. Uh, give me 10. Just yeah, leave me up here. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Well, right. uh, so, so in that case, then uh, we might as, well, might as well get things into it. So uh, let's, let's. I'll be back. Yeah, mate. Yeah, everybody. 
Osmond Clack 63 here, and we're back again. We're back again, and we're up to episode 51. Can you believe it? 51 episodes of holding these spaces. I definitely can't believe it. <gasps> nice little gasp, and also a little bit of a... <laughs> Which means, if this is episode 51, do you know what next week means? Next week means it would be episode 52. Now, 52, that means that we've been doing these spaces for nearly a whole year. That is another one. Like, you know, again, another. <gasps> 52. Wow. So next next week, we are definitely going to have to do something for that. That is an absolute milestone. So next week on Webby Wednesdays, we're going to be doing some giveaways. We're going to be doing some fun stuff. We're going to have to have to celebrate. Because uh, 52 weeks, so wow, that's a that's a that's a milestone, definitely. But uh, we got uh, Hinato up to up to the stage. He's just uh, getting himself together. Just coming from a busy day at work. So D, D's on stage. As well, how are you, D? What's up, Alex? Oh, uh, everything, everything's happening, D. I'm, I'm actually running a little bit late because uh, my my son decided to wet the bed, so I've just been dealing with that for the last 10, 10 15 minutes. But I made it, <laughs> and uh, no, it's all good. That's usually how it goes, right? It's all good. Yeah, see, well, the thing I was worried about is that when when something like that happens, like my son wants me wants me to sit with him until he falls back to sleep. I was like, no, any other day, but <laughs> not today. <laughs> Not today. Not today. Don't do it on Wednesdays and Sundays. Damn it. That's it. I bet, 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 <laughs> bet to pull a Game of Thrones on him and go like, not today, not today. <laughs> but um, but it's all good now. He's uh, he's, he's gone back to bed, and uh, it's all it's all okay. it's all sorted. We're here. So I also want to say a big big thank you to uh to everybody tuning in. I know it was a bit, bit slow to get going, but I see uh, uh VV NFT. So you see Tony. So thanks for, thanks for tuning in, mate. It's a double quill for fried labbits. Guri. So I just saw that picture of that amazing breakfast you just you, know, you, you just had. Guri looks amazing. Also, mm. if you haven't seen it already, a big a big massive shout out to Guri. He uh, he was nice enough to post enough a post a parcel for me from um all the way from Tokyo, which had a, a, a nice uh, selection of uh Japanese um uh, Kit Kats and stuff and a whole heap of other packaging that I can't read because I don't speak Japanese. But it looks really <laughs> really good. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, they're really good. You're gonna enjoy them. Mm, I would definitely go put that to good use come come Easter time. I've got a nice big Maltese Easter egg that's gonna pair really well with. Ooh, yeah, and, and watch that done with them uh bullet chocolate bullets, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. In case in, in bit ca of sweet and spicy. Oh yeah. That was a lot of fun our, our, our live, wasn't it? Did you have a good time, D? Yeah. I, I I had a good time. Hope hopefully you're feeling better now. Yeah, I'm feeling better. Just got um, just that annoying cough left over. Um, I mean, I'm not <clears throat> um, contagious anymore. I, I'm pretty sure. Nope. Um, it's just that lingering cough that like lasts for another couple weeks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That that always that residual sort of tickle in the back of the throat. It's always a pain, isn't it? Yeah, and it's so annoying because it's like you could be by yourself or like at home and nothing happens. And then when you're out in public and you're about to talk to someone, mm. that's when it like it just all comes out, and you're like, "What the heck?" I know exactly. You say, and they're what? looking at you like, "Oh my gosh!" I know. Like got a disease. <laughs> I know. You like you, know, you take like one one be like massive breath or something, and something just goes down like the wrong pipe. And you're like, Ugh, uh, and they, they, they look at you like you know like a, the the walking plague, like <laughs> bloody something like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, very cool. So um. We just do this real quick. So, um, yeah, what's uh, let's see what's been happening. I've, I've only had a little bit of time to throw some talking points together, but obviously the big one's going to be we just had the uh, the uh, the the reveal for the Ghost Spider. So the animation. How how do we feel about that? I'm seeing a lot of mixed mixed reactions on on X about it, saying I think the it looks like anim animation wise the the web is animated and it has a, an interchangeable head. I I, mm. I have to admit it is not what I I was expecting. <laughs> I um I got the notification for um Corey's video, but I didn't really watch it. And then just before this the this space, I was watching um a superstar money. I missed their live, but I was re-watching and he played a, a bit of Corey's video and that's when I saw that you tap on it and it goes from mask to unmask. That's right, right, yeah. Yeah, kinda like with the um uh the the Ant-Man uh, 90s. 
Mm. Yeah, I think it would have just been better. I mean, for me personally, of course, I'm not an artist. I am not creative at all. Um, but I think it would have been okay if they just left the mask on mm. and like did something else as an animation. <laughs> yeah, same. I mean, like, I mean, even if they they left the mask on and she did like a, I don't know, kind of like a, like what the other Spider-Man do, like you know, like a backflip and do some web action or something like that. Just anything other than just being static and having a head change. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know how much work goes into that, so I can't really mm. <laughs> critique that much, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same. I'm I'm not a coder, I'm not an animator, I'm I'm just a guy in, in front of a, a microphone on the internet just talking about digital collectibles. I have no idea what goes into the making any of this sort of stuff, but I I don't know. What about you guys out there in the, in the listening? Um right feel feel free, write write a comment down there in the chat if you want. Say what are you happy with it? Say, do you like the interchangeable head, or would or would you have liked to have seen some kind of animation? I personally want to see some kind of animation. And also, there's there's been a lot of controversy about the actual details on the head itself. So you're saying that um, I mean, it it, it, it look, looks better than what they've done in the past, but um, yeah, it's still not not 100. It's uh, it's 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 not it's not competing with uh with uh, with Fro's girl or anything like that. It still still does look pretty good in comparison. No, no one can beat Fro's girl. Absolutely though. not. <laughs> She's uh, her own uh, block. <laughs> exactly. That's it. They'll, they'll, they'll be going down if that, if that was the case. But uh, let's see. What else is all my talking points here? So we had uh, the, the, the X-Men 97 comic sold out in less than two minutes. Um, Dee, did you have any luck with um, with scoring one? Yeah, I was able to score one. Um <clears throat> We were on a live stream with um, Arcade last night. Um, myself, you know, I know, BE and uh, the biggest bro. Nice. So we were all trying. Um, he has some issues probably because everyone was trying to buy all at the same time. Yep. Um, but I eventually <clears throat> was able to get um, one. I got a rare. Um, so that was cool. I haven't sold it. Um then I picked up two other different comics. Um, and those were, uh, what do you call it? I got Venom number 88 and, or Venom Mint number 88. And, oh, nice. Um, Spider Punk number 345. Okay. Very, very, very cool numbers. Especially that 48. That's, that, that's quite low. So a very, very nice one, that one. Yeah. Oh, 88. 88. Yeah, 88. And then the Spider, not Spider, um, X Men 97, I got mint number 77. Nice. Is that just the, um, uh, norm, this, uh, common cover or uncommon? Um, I got the rare. Ooh, that's nice. That, that That's a nice cover, yeah, too. Which is cool. Yeah, which was cool because I usually always end up with the common. <laughs> so that was a good change. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I tried for it, um, but I kept getting the um, the the error message saying a uh, page not found. So I was like, ah, oh, boo. Actually. Yeah, that's how it was when we when midnight hit um, Pacific time, and they, yeah, that kept saying error page not found four oh four. Yeah. So we were like refreshing, and yeah, it just wasn't happening I for know. a while. Oh, here we go. I found it. It's boo. <laughs> that sounded like a riot. I know that did sound like a riot. I, I, I might have to change that one. <laughs> I, I, I need a more like subtle boo. All right, I'm back. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's, he's, all, re he's all refreshed. He's here. So we're just uh, just talking about the uh, the X Men drop. Saying so, uh, I. Oh man, that was uh that was very interesting last night. Us trying to go for it, and VV bait and carroting us all the way to the very end. We're all like. Refreshing our screens and then error 404. Yeah, yeah, I got that too. Yeah. So, but I was able to secure a common and one rare, and then I bought a, I'm sorry, a common and an uncommon, and I bought a rare in the market because it's a one in 100 yeah. rogue. Nice. So, yeah, I got that. I still have it. I don't plan on selling it. Um, now, if I got an SR, I probably would sell it because I'm uh, gem stacking for something. 
Um, but yeah, last night was fun. Uh, yeah, we had a good time. What about you? Me? Yeah. Well, I mean, like I said, I, 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 I went for the drop, um, got the error message. Uh, for me, like the you know, drop time for, for that comic is uh, seven o'clock in the morning. So unfortunately, I couldn't stick around for too long because that's right smack bang when I got to get the kids ready for like you know daycare and school and whatnot. So here I am, like you know, I've got the kids like you know, running around behind me, <laughs> going, "Daddy, Daddy, I want breakfast. I want breakfast." I'm like, five, five minutes, five minutes. I'm gonna try and get this comic." It's like, "No, no, error message. Damn, damn." <laughs> chill, Junior. Chill. Yeah, I'm just like, it's all right, Dad. Daddy's trying to secure you, like you know, your inheritance. Just like you know, to ch chill out for a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but that's a good story. Yeah, but no, didn't didn't happen. Well, right on. I've I've been uh, out of the loop today, guys. I've been oh, what is it like? Uh, yesterday was my first day back to work from being sick. So uh, I know uh, I know we had Yoda drop today. We had Vader, which I missed, and I hear the controversy with Ghost Spider and her mm, face. Yeah, we we we, um, we were just talking about it, and I think. I think also Cryptoids had a live stream. I wasn't able to attend any of that. I've been out in the sun all day. My face is blasted, and I've been dealing with fiber optics. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, and you're fried. <laughs> I'm fried. Yeah. How's everyone else? <laughs> Doing good, mate. Like I said, so, um, it's coming into Thursday morning here for me. So my my work has been uh, absolutely hectic and all over the place. So uh, I I feel your pain. Um, unfortunately, I, I don't have the benefit of being fried by the sun. Instead, I'm getting drowned by the rain. But uh, you're not missing much. No, I know it's a tough choice, isn't it? Getting getting burnt alive by the sun or getting getting drowned by the rain. <laughs> hmm. Well, to put it in perspective, my face looks like BB NFT Comics PFP. So I do. <laughs> it's pretty dang red. I was gonna say, look, you look like Iron Man because that that kind of makes it cool. <laughs> I I kind of look like Carnage or something, or maybe MC. There you go. My face looks like MC's background, all red. Nice, nice. So yeah, yeah. So I tell you, yeah. What. Sorry, I missed your, I missed your live stream, MC. I've been out of loop all day. Fill me in, guys. What happened? Uh, so well, I said we just, we just, we just talking about the, uh, the, the ghost spider reveal, saying um, it's uh, it's not what I was expecting. Um, saying as, as far as I can tell, the only animation we've got is uh, the, the web is slightly animated, and we've got the interchangeable head. Um, I believe that's correct. I don't believe there's any other animation to my knowledge. We going for it? Am I going for it? That's the question. Me personally, <laughs> me personally, no, I'm 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 not going for it just because I've I've got I've gems and money I have to allocate to other areas of my my life. Unfortunately, it's like things you know, like so stupid little things like you know, feeding my children and keeping a roof over their head. Like you know, come on. <laughs> oh, I know the feeling, man. I know the feeling. <laughs> And also allocating funds to get to get uh, to get to myself to to America for uh, for decon. Dude, sell one of your ETH. You're good to go. Sell one you're of my done already. Sell one of my ETH. Are you crazy? Sell with, one of your ETH. Are you crazy with the NFT on the with the uh, what's it the ETF on the rise and the possible this and the possible that? Should I sell my ETH <gasps> or should I sell my Bitcoin? Ah, <sighs> that's another. It's all about timing, man. I know it's all about timing. I mean, me me personally, my 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 personal plan, and obviously. Before I, oh, actually, before before I get into it, because I, I do enjoy playing this one, if I can find it, that one. We interrupt this program to bring you an important announcement. We interrupt. As we always say on this channel, nothing said or done or referred to or even anything other than just talking about digital comics, collectibles, and all that other fun geeky stuff is classed as financial advice. Please. Please, please, for the love of whoever you'd like to pray to, do sensible things with your own money, take your own risks, risk management, and all that other fun stuff. And just remember to just enjoy the just enjoy the collecting experience along the way and don't stress yourself out. And and, and on that note, um me, I'm just um, allocating more 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 money just to certain areas of the crypto market and hopefully with a bit of bit of luck, um, that will give us a little bit of cash to uh, to, to to fund my trip to America, which would be nice. It'll happen. It'll happen. Well, so far things are looking pretty good. My time horizon is pretty pretty broad, so uh, fingers crossed. But obviously, like you know, as I always say, things can always go to zero. So be sensible with your own money. True that. True that. 
But um, just on the uh, on the subject of uh, of am I going for the uh, ghost spider? No, I'm probably not going for the ghost spider. It does look really cool. Um, but uh, I'm just going to see where it sits in the uh, aftermarket. What about you? You going to go for it? Well, I, I saw like um, surveys that people were like asking VV to fix the face. Um, is it really that bad? Do we do we? Is there like a? Show me what it looks like. You know, I'm going to look. Yeah, yeah. Have, have a look if 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 anyone's able to. Um. Please, uh, by all means, pin it to the uh, pin it to the uh, the spaces here, if, uh, if anyone's able to. But um, yeah, it's it's getting a lot of a lot of mixed mixed reactions. I mean, I definitely think it's uh, the face is a lot a lot better than some of the ones we've had in the past. I was saying to D, I'm 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 not sure if it's going to be able to compete with Froze Girl. There there, there might be a, an epic cat battle going on there. But um, but yeah, but I mean, like I was I was expecting some kind of animation, like you know, excuse me, some kind of um. Uh, maybe like you know some web action, maybe some backflipping, like you know some something we've seen like from one of the other collectibles. But um, definitely uh, caught me off guard just the uh, the interchangeable head, like um like we have with the um with the Marvel Mighties with the uh, the uh, uh, Ant Man uh, series. I pinned up um Corey's video mm. to the top. Yeah, and also be be shout out to Corey as well for like, for putting these videos together. They're always always really well done. Lots of um lots of information there, and uh, very cool. But yeah, what about you out there listening in the in the spaces there? Are you going to go for it? Say, so feel free to leave to, to leave a comment in the chat. Also, feel feel free if, if if you're able to to come up and say hi and have a chat with us. So, like I said, the space is always open to to new voices and. Looking to give um give everybody that that little bit of confidence of speaking the space for the first time. If you're thinking about doing it, I say do it, do it, do it now. Come up and chat with me. <laughs> okay, I seen the face. Whoa. So <laughs> now, <laughs> now, now, the real question is, what do you think of the face? Are you going to be going for it? Maybe in the aftermarket. I mean, I can see the meme quality here. She mm -hmm. definitely has uh, gives Electra a run for uh, for her money. What happened here? Yeah, I don't. I, well, what's everyone else think down below? Am I just being too critical? Yeah, well, like, like I said, like you know, it's it's not what I was expecting. I was like I said, the uh, the animation, like you know, she still looks looks like she's still like swinging, so that looks static. But the uh, the the webbing looks animated, and we've got the interchangeable head. So unless there's some other animation that I'm I'm missing, um, I think that's what we're getting. Let's go. Yeah, so that so that is coming in at so it's going to be forty gems, and there is two thousand two hundred editions, I believe. Let me just double check that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, twenty two hundred. Yep. I was wondering, um, why twenty two hundred? Um, I don't, I don't know. Is it? What is that? Yeah, about? is there some kind of significance to that number? Because as far as I know, it's just some random number. Yeah, because I went to um, <clears throat> I just typed in. Ghost Spider twenty two hundred significance and maybe that's just too vague. Mm. Um, but it didn't give me any anything special about the number twenty two hundred. So I don't know, maybe it's two hundred twenty and then they added another zero. Yeah, or, or yeah, I don't know. Or maybe they just chucked the chuck the number into a random number generator and just said, Oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So it's <laughs> it's not too high, it's not too low, it's just right. We'll make it a common as just well. Right. That's the other thing that sort of um threw me out as well. So it's just a comment, but um but then again, in saying that, there's there's been a bit of speculation that could possibly be could this possibly be like the other uh, Hulk drops? Could we start off with a common, and then next thing you know they release an uncommon, a rare, an ultra rare? But then in saying that, how many versions of Ghost Spider have we got? Have we got enough? Have we have we got enough versions of Ghost Spider to pull something like that off? Is there? Yeah, I just know the one that's um dropping mm. um i mean like the the only one the only other ones that i know of is like because i know there's a venomized version of ghost spider oh i see okay um, oh, I, don't God, know. I don't know i don't know let me know out there in the uh in, in listening like you know feel feel free to chuck a comment in like you know uh, how many versions of ghost spider have we got so i'm sure like you know isn't too late, is, don't they have ghost spider as a mighty mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. isn't this the second one not uh, counting the comic that she's on, VV. That's right. Yeah. Well, this, well, this, uh, this, this collectible doesn't get the FA tag because that that goes to the the, uh, the Marvel Mighty. But yeah, I mean, Ghost Spider. Well, Ghost Spider wise, we've only got the Marvel Mighty. We've got this one coming, 
And we've also got um, her first appearance, which I believe is Edge of Spider-Verse number two. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yep. And um, yeah, and we've also got the uh, the, the one of one um, piece of artwork as well. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't um, drop it like they did with uh, Miles Morales mm. with the three. Uh, was it three rarities, right? Yeah, so because because that's what I was thinking. Like, you know, a lot of people are going to go for this because, like, you know, if you're lucky enough to actually hold one of the um the the, the Miles Morales um collectibles, it would pair really well with it. And I thought, like, you know, maybe they have like you know your your, your three rarities, maybe the same sort of um scarcity for drop buys because um Ghost Buys definitely got that level of um popularity to it. So I I mean obviously not financial advice, but I don't see this um see doing any problem in the in the market. I'm I it'll either sell out straight away or eventually and um yeah i can see a lot of people wanting to pair, pair this with their um with their miles because like they're, they're basically that's that's like the pairing isn't it like you know ghost ghost spires and, and miles is like you know peter pe peanut butter and jelly say starsky and hutch bonnie and clyde all those sort of like pa famous pa pairings but i don't know we'll have to see like i said we'll 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 keep track of it in the aftermarket and uh, see what it does. But uh, I tell you what, just on the on the subject of aftermarket, because we were talking about the, uh, the 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 comic book before. How about we do a little bit of market watch? So uh, this is a a nice little segment I like to call, "Let's Go Shopping." I love that sound effect. So so much fun. <laughs> I I definitely have to build on that. I'm 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 definitely looking at like this, trying to do like little sound effects like for different segments of the show, like you no, know, like one for let's go shopping, one for maybe some like games and stuff later on down the track, and one for different other little segments we've got. But if that's something you want to hear, say chuck a chuck a like in the comments or even throw us a little thumbs up, hundred percent. Give us some indication that's what you want to see, and we'll we'll try and do it moving forward. But uh, let's uh, let's start off with uh, with uh, the the big the popular one the popular one. Let's start with X Men number ninety seven. If I can find it, where's it gone? Because last I looked, uh, that was doing very well in the market, especially if you were lucky enough to land that secret rare. That secret rare was going nuts. Oh yeah! Congratulations to MC. He landed the secret rare along with also Chris Severs. Oh, did he now? Ooh. Yeah. Well, in that case, I better. I better give you one of these then. Uh, da, 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 that one. 404 ain't going to stop you, MC. That one. That's uh, so a big congratulations to anybody who manages to land themselves the SR or, or just anything on that drop, to be honest. But let me just try and find the comic because my computer is being stupid. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Right. Also, as well, did anyone have any luck with the uh, the Darth Vader comic? Because that uh, that that sold out as well. Did you manage to get yourself one of them? I know. I'm sleeping. No. Yeah. Yeah, because I know you. We got to get up at like four thirty in the morning to like do those drops. So. All yeah, right. Pass. Pass. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So the X Men ninety seven, just just the common at the moment, is going for wow, is going for forty gems on the floor. So you're doing very well. Oh, nice. Oh, very very nice. So if you if you manage to get one on the drop, you're already already doing very well. And our un, uncommon is going for oh, the uncommon is actually going for seventeen gems and thirty four frags. So that's actually Boo. yeah, not 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 doing not doing very well at all. <laughs> So uh, that's, that's nice. To hear. Above, above retail, so that's good. Still above retail, so you're doing right now. We've got the rare with uh with Rogue on the front there, looking very very cool. This one is currently going for 25 gems on the floor. Oh wow! So the common. So the common is actually doing oh, doing really well. I suppose it's got like that classic um front, isn't it? Like no, with mm -hmm. all with all with all the uh all all the big players in it. So true. Yeah, but that that Rogue cover is very nice. Who's who's the artist on that one? Cover artist by Ben Harvey. I'm not not familiar with Ben Harvey, but very very nice work. Oh yeah, man! Like last night, uh, I think Arcade accidentally showed his uh, CC on air, so he had to cancel it while we were on air. Oh really? Yeah. 
originally I, I was supposed to host and I'm glad he did instead because then I could just uh concentrate. Yeah. All right. Uh oh, here we go. So the ultra rare of the uh, X-Men 97 number 1 is currently going for 95 frag uh 95 gems on the floor. Wow. So ultra nice. so ultra rare is doing very nice. Now, the mm-hmm. big one, now the big one, the big one, the secret rare is currently going for Oh, it's had a little bit of a pullback. It's going for 579 gems and 24 frags. 579. Oh, okay. Really? Hmm. Yeah, so it's uh, had a slight pullback because the last time I was looking at that one, that actually was going somewhere around the – it was actually approaching the 1,000-gem the, the mark. I'm debating whether to buy it. But then again, I saw – was it Uncanny X-Men for like 800 gems? Let's have a look. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm going after something. So Ooh. I gotta save those gems. That's it. I know there's like so, so much choice in the app now. <laughs> oh no, no, I have my, I have a target for something, and I'm not gonna say what it Ooh, is. Ooh, okay. Is it something new or something old? Or something very old. Something very old. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I don't blame you. I mean, like some of these, uh, these older comics that we've had in the, in the app with the higher edition runs are going like for ridiculously cheap at the moment. Well, if I ever get to it, I'll, I'll, it'll be on the feed. Absolutely. Well, hopefully, you, whatever you're, you're aiming for, and that goes for everyone else out there listening in the chat, um, whatever you're aiming for, I hopefully you get it, and um, prices stay within within reasonable numbers before things go to the moon. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it looks like everything else is uh, doing very well. Let's see what else can we look at? Oh, tell you what, let's let's have a quick look at the Darth Vader comic because. Uh, Last time I looked at that one, that common was going actually below retail. So the Darth Vader comic, very very cool, cool, cool covers by the way. That uh, that Alex Ross um, secret rare is uh, very nice. It's beautiful. Mm, so right now we've got our common. Our common is currently going for three gems and twenty three frags. So that's going well, well below. And we've got our un- uncommon, which is currently going for three gems and ninety frags on the floor. And now we've got our rare. Now I believe this rare is actually a um, a uh, ratio edition. I think a one of one of fifty, if I if I believe that to be correct. So um, that is going for thirteen gems on the floor. And who's it sold out too, right? It has sold out. It has sold out too, yeah. Oh, that's good. I, I actually have that comic slab. Uh, shout out to Kenobi. Thank you so much, brother. Um, yeah, it's a good comic. Mm. And the uh, the the rare is uh, done by uh, J. Scott Campbell, which is uh, the artist of the uh, the rare. And let's have a look at our ultra rare. Our ultra rare, which uh, I, I think is kind of cool. It's got um, Darth Vader's mask with a little Anakin poking through the middle. Uh, is currently going for 21 gems and 50 frags on the floor. And of course, the Alex Ross variant, the secret rare, is going for 122 gems on the floor. Really? That's cheap. Mm. Yeah. I think it was yeah, I think it was like around that um price when MC was doing his live stream earlier this morning. Oh, really? One one twenty five, one thirty five. I must hold my gems. <laughs> Do not go into temptation and spend thy gems in thy VV app. I know it's hard, isn't it? So well, shout out to everyone that landed the comic, whatever they got, and hopefully you guys read the thing. Speaking of Star Wars, did anyone unbox their Yoda? What's the animation look like? Is he spinning around with his uh with his uh, lightsaber, I bought two this morning, but I never got to do anything with them. Nice, that the yeah, that that was excellent. My talking point, like you know, so we've had Yoda drop on uh, on Cryptoys. So um, if anyone managed to get themselves a Yoda, say congratulations to you. Um, me, me personally, I I haven't been going for it because like you know I can only be have so much so much gem and money allocated to one project at one time. Otherwise, I'd have some two very very unhappy children. But uh, but yeah, it looks like Cryptoys is doing some some fun things. Like we said um, the other week, they've just uh, announced their their NASCAR um, partnership. So 
that uh, that they'll be uh, fun to see some uh, maybe some crypt toys racing around in some NASCARs. Yeah, recently I wanted to Max Mint to get a golden ticket for the vaulting stuff, but I'm I'm kind of like you, um, like allocating in the crypto. Mm-hmm. I've got my, uh, you know, I've got I got enough Bitcoin and ETH. Yeah, not financial advice, but so now I'm doing my alts. Yep. And uh, getting all that squared away. So yeah, <laughs> don't have enough money. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly what I know exactly what you are. Like, you know, I'm I'm the same. I've I've got my my, my Bitcoin. I've got my ETH. So I I actually sold a little bit by my ETH, ETH off the other day to sort of um, allocate into some altcoins, just because I, I need something that might perform a little bit better if I want to get get my ass to America. <laughs> but um, we guess we'll have to see. So there's a lot of lot of things happening in that that's that spot at the moment. So we've got a got KuCoin under investigation. So uh, that's a, that's not doing too well for anything. But uh, we'll have to see. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, let's see what else is on my talking points today. So, just going back to the comics. So, um, was there anything else that anybody picked up? Like, you know, I, I noticed we had the the, the Edge of Spider Verse with the with the Venom on the front there. The first appearance of the Spooky Man looks uh, very cool. Uh, what else have we got? So we have got Ultimate Spider Man number three. So if you're continuing that story, so good for you. Got a few Hulks, a few Cables, a few X Force, Thunderbolts. We've got a Daredevil number seven. I'm guessing uh, Mr. Chris Severs will be uh, right on top of that one. Got a Wolverine. And uh, some other cool stuff. But yeah, I just want to say a big, uh, big thank you to everyone who's uh, taking the time out of the busy day. Come chill with us in the space. I see my collectibles. I see Shadow. I see VV NFT still with us. I see Nino Blue. I see Mahalo. Nas. So thanks for dropping in, guys. Say so nice. Hopefully the, uh, the the little ones treating you well. Say <laughs> so humble. Say so my my fellow Aussie from across uh, from across the world. Say so thanks for dropping in, mate. Hopefully the weather's a bit bit nicer in your your side of the world than it is mine. I see Richard. I see Key Collector ninety eight. Say so Kenobi. Hope you're doing well, mate. Nice to see you uh, racking up all those awesome comics on uh, on X and uh, getting ready. Hopefully for the next whatnot show, which is always a massive success. I also see Double Quill as well. Say so I hope you keep doing well and uh, keep uh, keep writing them blogs out. I also see. Uh, some fella's name in either Japanese or Chinese I can't read, but uh, I do appreciate uh, you taking the time. A busy day, come and chill with us, and also see first steps. Very, very cool. And like I said before, if anybody wants to come up the stage at any time, please, uh, please feel free to do so. So if you want to just uh, come and chill, say hi. We're just looking for a bit of confidence to speak in the space for the first time. That's what this space is all about. It's about uh, collecting knobs. Ca- oh yeah, go on. Hey knobs. Just, just letting him know that uh, check your mail. It's coming. Also, MC. Yeah, we're a little bit late on the mail. That's coming too. Oh, there you go. Stay tuned. Stay tuned, guys. It's, it's coming. Okay. Also, speaking of mail as well, like, like I said before a bit earlier, I just want to give uh, Guri a quick shout out as well because uh, he was nice enough to send me a parcel from uh, from uh, all the way from Tokyo, full of uh, lovely uh, Kit Kats and Chuckies and all sorts of lovely stuff that's all written in Japanese that I can't read. So I'm I'm hoping it's all right. <laughs> oh man, bless bless Guri. He's such a he's such a, a cherished person in this community. Always doing that stuff. He is, yeah, no, really, really good guy. So 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 giving, so so um so charitable. And also I'm I'm quite excited because I'm actually meet, meeting up with him in London in a couple of weeks. So uh we're gonna have a have an awesome day. That's awesome. Oh. Yeah, we tried. We we tried to fly uh to the other island to meet him and uh Dang airport closed down. I know it was. Yeah. How how dare they? How dare they close their air, airport? They, yeah. Did they not? Did they not know yeah. that you had to take a plane to go and meet Guri? So someone is right. someone is getting fired. <laughs> they they better not do that crap to us when we go to Vegas. I gotta tell you right now, I will rage. Oh, I will hey. rage. Bad. Oh mate, I I will be all over it. Especially the the amount of lengths and distance and stuff I have to go to. I I will, I will be very very unhappy. Yeah, but yeah, but we definitely have to start planning something for Vegas. We do. To talk to uh, your co-host. I will. Wait, wait, what happened? So Ve- Vegas planning. So who out there? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Who out there in the ch- who out there listening right now is actually planning on maybe perhaps joining us in Vegas? So maybe see a, a thumbs up. Maybe see a hundred percent. So because we gotta go try and get get a little get together happening there. Obviously, we've got um. A few things happening. Um, arcades got got a few things going on. We've got our uh, decon. 
But uh, if there's any other other little events or other little, other things to see and do in, in Vegas, let us know. Hey, the unofficial official after party at Ninja Karaoke. I've we've already signed up. It's Steve's place. Let's go, Mean Bean. I see you down there, Mean Bean. You need to come. All right. MC owes me a drink, by the way. Um, Davo, fly oh, no. over. Let's go. Yeah, so I Kenobi. I did. So I, I just realized that Davo is actually listening in the background there. I didn't see his name because it's uh it's all all pasted out, but uh I do recognize the, the profile picture. So uh Davo, thanks for thanks for dropping Dingo. in. Dingo Davo. Also, before I forget, big uh big congratulations to Davo as well because he uh, managed to score himself a Drophead Skull right. number three on our uh, on our Webby live stream. So uh, congratulations to you, man. So let me uh, let me give you one of these. Which I was which he was uh, very very excited about because uh, he's a big 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 fan of MC and uh, now he gets to be part of the Dropheads. So uh, congratulations to you, sir, and hopefully you put that to good use. And and. We have something for DQ down there. I haven't forgotten about you, DQ. She doesn't mm -hmm. like to enter any of our giveaways, so D and I have made sure we held something for her because we knew we'd come to Vegas this year. Ooh. So it's coming. She doesn't know what it is yet. Ooh. Well, there you go, DQ. So stay tuned. So see you in Vegas. And no backsies. You can't give it back either. That's it, because uh, we know we know how DQ feels about drops. As we've, every, if you've read one of her previous blogs, <laughs> but uh, that's very cool. So very, very cool and uh, very, very, uh, very kind of you. So big, big thank you to the the Real Uncommon Podcast, and also as well if you haven't subscribed to their channel on YouTube, check them out. Um, D recently just did the uh, the community feed, getting back into it, and uh, get lets us know what's what's going on out in the space there. What do you guys think about it being on X? It was kind of like something we talked about to spread it because, you know, we do our live streams and uh, a lot of people like it on X. We have like a lot more viewership on X than we are on YouTube. I think on YouTube we get like maybe 100 views but on X. It's like, I couldn't believe. One time I told D, like, my goodness, there's like 400 people that watched this live stream on Friday, D. Where, where'd that come from? I know. I've. I had exactly the same experience. Like, you know, I was doing a relax and read uh, one night. I was do recently just did um, Edge of Spider Verse number one, and um, all of a sudden my viewership went from uh, from like one or two people, which which is which is what I normally expect, which is uh, which is alright. But all of a sudden it spiked up to like eighty. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Eighty people actually taking the time to listen to me read this comic book? That's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I think yeah, Elon's awesome. changed the way the the algorithm finds everyone on Spaces, mm. and since uh, live streams are considered spaces on x people are able to find it easily now ah. i mean that's the only thing i can think of unless anyone else has a theory i don't know well, if that being the case they cheers cheers uncle elon <laughs> well here we go i'm just just reading some of the comments uh shadow shadow says come to new york <laughs> maybe, maybe 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 we will try and get to new york somewhere in the future next year brother yeah a little far for us that's it same same Come to New York. Come. Hey, stop it. You're like you're like across the pond right there. What are you talking about, man? <laughs> I know. I've... Yeah, we're slowly making our way to the East Coast. We started on the West Coast in California. Now we're going to be making it to Vegas, and then we'll slowly make our way to New York. I know, I know. I'm I'm slowly making my way over to America as well for the first time. I've had a lot of people going like, "What? What? Why, why don't you go to France? Why don't you go to France? That's a, that's a hell of a lot closer than New York." It's like, well, unfortunately, I couldn't get to France at the time because, uh, long long story short, is that I, I I couldn't afford it because I I had a lot of uh financial debt and stuff I had to sort out first. But hopefully, come November, hopefully come November, we'll be we'll be there. So I'll be be chilling with everybody, and also, Hinata and D weren't weren't there as well, and and. And not only do I want to see the uh, the rest of the, uh, the the VV fam and hang out and be part of it all, um, Hinato and D are the two I, I I really want to spend time with because we do all these live streams together, we do all these spaces together, and it'd just be nice to actually sort of uh, come and actually you know give you a big hug, shake your hand, and just chill with you in real life, which is what I really want. We're gonna make it happen. Absolutely, we're gonna make yeah. it happen. We're gonna. That's what I'm looking for. Everybody's gonna get a big fat hug from me. That's it. Big group hug. <laughs> 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 I 
But yeah. Also as well, if if, um, if anyone hasn't seen it yet, uh, we did our Webby Live last week, last Sunday, which was which is a lot of fun. So if you haven't seen that over on the, the Webby Collective's YouTube channel um, or on the uh, the Real Uncommon Podcasters YouTube channel, definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun. If you wanna if you wanna see me absolutely blow my head off um, eating uh, chili chocolate, uh, very entertaining. But uh, but, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, that. That was fun. That was fun. It was a little rough for me. It was like the first time I went back on camera in like a week since I was sick. Yeah. Um, because I didn't do I didn't do Aloha Friday last week, and I'm um, crossing my fingers I make Aloha Friday this week. Um, because last night was kind of rough at on arcades, but uh, slowly but slowly I'll be back. Yeah, mate. But but you feeling better now? So you're you're on the mend. Uh, I'm on the men, but being in the sun for like, shoot, 12 hours straight today. Oh, it took me out. Yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> no, it doesn't help, man. It took me out. Um, yeah, and I'll be back again tomorrow. So it's like one of those uh, back to work blues this week for me. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just uh, just seeing what uh, what else has been happening in the spaces here. What else are my talking points? So I said we've had the comic book drop. We've got uh, we've got Spider Gwen coming. I don't believe there's anything else in the pipeline. I'm just checking VV's X page because sometimes they get sneaky and they post stuff there we don't know anything about. But no, as far as I can tell, there's no there's nothing else scheduled for the for for coming out. But we are coming into what well, the the next season for VV, aren't we? Are we? Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I I lose track of the seasons as well. But um, apparently the next one is supposed to start uh, come April. So what's that? The end of the week. Mm. So uh, I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. See what see what comes out of that. So I got something I want to talk. Oh yeah, about. what you got? Uh, what do we think about the trailer for Beetlejuice? Beetlejuice. Ooh. Let loose the juice. No. The, ju the juice is loose. The juice is loose. <laughs> I, I I just went yes, <laughs> I am all for it. How nostalgic was that trailer, you guys? When you hear Dale in the background, and you know you see them all there except for Lydia's dad, right? Who I'm assuming is in the ground. Well, uh, and you got Jenna Ortega, who's like, is it Astrid? She plays Astrid, hmm. Lydia's daughter. Well, I don't know. I I I had a theory about that because I like, you know I've read like you know some of the stuff online. They're saying like you know obviously it's a a family tragedy has happened that's brought everyone back together, and that's where they sort of like get back to the house so obviously find like you know beetlejuice and something's going to go down but yeah the theory is who who's in the ground but uh but my theory is i reckon i reckon it might be the mother oh uh, so where's the dad i don't know well because like you know i've read um saying that uh uh what, what was the jet dad's name what was the actor's name uh the yeah jeffrey right on jeffrey right apparently he's he he wasn't going to appear in it but that means absolutely nothing because we've heard that in the past. I like, you know when it comes to like you no know, Spider Man and like uh, no 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 way home. Um, but I don't know because just, just looking at the trailer, like you know the 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 the, the mother, like no, I think it's, it's uh, Catherine O'Hara, isn't it? Like no, um, what's it? Uh, Macaulay Culkin's yeah, Ke mom, Home Alone's Kevin's mom. mom. She it. looks way too glammed up. So I'm just like, hmm, could she be glammed up because like you know she's a ghost? But she kind of was glammed up in the first movie. Very right? true. Isn't that like her thing? Yeah, very true. I don't know, but it, but if well, if you break down the trailer, like you, know, you can actually see a small snippet of actually a face on the headstone. So I was like, I don't know, like you know, it, it's possible, could happen. How are they going to explain away Gina Davis and Alec Baldwin? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they 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 went into the afterlife. They all lived happily ever after. I I have no idea. Maybe, but I tell you what, a, a new trailer that did drop that looks uh that looks fun, is uh the new Bad Boys movie, Ride or Die. Bad Boys, as in as in Will, Will Smith. yeah, as in Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. Apparently, they're coming back for another movie. Go figure. Huh. Is this is it bad? I didn't see the last one. So uh, the last one was the last one was okay. It was entertaining. There's a lot of like you know, like you know, action. Like ooh ah, look over here. But um. Yeah, this one is basically. I mean, I I enjoyed the first the first movie because I, I I grew up with it, and but uh, it looks like it's, it's it's got the same sort of chemistry between the two. Martin Lawrence is always like you know entertaining, but uh, yeah, they're de they're definitely still um still going strong. They're 
they're uh, they're definitely looking uh, a lot more. Uh, I don't want to say older. I just want to say more 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 worn. So Martin Lawrence to me looks like Mr. Potato Head. He does. He has definitely ballooned a lot. Yes, he does. You know. <laughs> and then Will Smith's just getting uh, worn and torn. Yeah. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so, yeah, I'll probably pass that one. Yeah, so that's coming. So if uh, if if you're into that, that that that's uh, that's coming. I don't know when. I don't think it's got released that yet, but uh, it is coming. Uh, what else is coming out? Oh, we got. The- Did anyone watch Ghostbusters? We haven't seen it yet, um, because we've been out sick. But hopefully, we can go watch it this weekend. I, I hope it's good. Humble's humble's laughing. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah. Just from what? Just, just... I think he's laughing about the bad boys. <laughs> oh yeah, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? <laughs> Very cool. Um, Ghostbusters. As far as I know, Ghostbusters is getting fairly decent reviews. Um, from what I've been reading, there's a lot of it's a nice uh, sort of mix of like nostalgia with a bit of new age stuff. It's let me just see if I can find it here right now. Just on uh. IMDB Instant Movie Database database is getting a six and a half stars out of ten. So that's a, that's good. Yeah, I don't believe in the the politics of movie reviews nah, like that. Nah, me, I, me neither. But I have to be a judge of it. Nah, me neither. But at least it's a sort of good like barometer. Like you know, if you see something like that, like a six and a half, it means okay, it's decent. Whereas if you take something like Ghost, uh, like um. Madam Web, for example, that got like a three out of ten. So you're like, ooh, three out of ten. That's uh, that's that's not overly great. Did you see that movie yet? <sighs> I can't bring myself to do it. I mean, I I I, <laughs> I do have um of ways online of uh, of of watching it in fairly decent quality, um, but uh, I I don't know. I mean, like, it's just like you know, do do I want to commit that level of time to watching it? Like, do do I want to? sacrificed the, the, the probably hour the the at the hour and a half to two hours of my life to see if it's actually that bad yeah i think i'll wait till it's on something where it's free mm. yeah i mean i definitely i definitely won't be seeing it in the cinemas i and i probably wouldn't recommend anyone else unless unless you're a hardcore madam web fan or hardcore spider-man fan and just want to check it out i i definitely wouldn't see it in cinemas but uh yeah i know i'm, I'm still wrestling with that one I watched, um, like I said, like we discussed on the live, I, the last one I watched was um, Roadhouse, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's new one. Oh, I'm probably not going to watch that. Uh, I mean, it's it's good, but don't uh, don't expect anything of it. I mean, it, it's entertaining, but like I said on the live, um, if they if they called it anything other than Roadhouse and made it its own like sort of standalone movie, it might have done a bit better. But they had to use it, but house, yeah, right? but yeah, they were trying to they were trying to label it as like the the new age row house, which is like they shouldn't have done, which is just silly. But um, but Jake John Hill was uh like his his performance is always good. He's looking absolutely ripped, like he like he was like in a like Southpaw like ripped. And Conor, Conor McGregor, I still just couldn't work out why he's actually in the movie, but he's just basically playing a an over exaggerated version of himself. But um, yeah. Like I said, check it out if you want to. Say, do your own, make your own decisions. But uh, me, I thought it was entertaining. But uh, yeah, definitely, definitely nothing, nothing special. Yeah, I think I'll pass mm. on that. Um, let's see. I we finished watching uh, Halo. That was really oh, good. Really enjoyed that. How how good was that final episode? It was stunning. Um, just the whole show in general on the second season. They just really. They geared it up really better than the first. Um, and if you've never played the game, you don't have to to kind of get into the series. Mm. The series is just really good, really well made. Yeah, I mean, but how how good was it? Like, you know, the way they they introduced the flood. Oh man, it was cool. It was <laughs> cool. I'm I'm hoping they bring back a third season because I know they canceled it after season two. But since season two did so good, they're kind of like now putting it back on the table. It's kind of like a whole Orville thing, right? When Orville got canceled, oh, yeah, yeah. and they brought it back for the third season. Yeah, I never actually watched the Orville. The third season got like really good. I mean, all of it was good. Like if if you like Seth MacFarlane uh, humor, but like one and two was cool. But the third season really kind of ramped it up, and they ended it kind of on a cliffhanger. Uh, okay. 
and that was it. That was it. Yeah, it's on Disney Plus. You can check it out. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I sort of, I suppose I, I I try not to commit too much to to, to watching at one point. Like right now, I'm just um, like I said, fin- finish Halo, uh, going through um Bad Batch at the moment, Star Wars Bad Batch season three, which I've got to catch up on, and uh, Invincible, the two I'm sort of go going through at the moment. Because otherwise, if I just uh, sit down and try and watch everything, <laughs> just uh, end up with no no time to commit to anything else. Uh, one 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 that I do want to watch um, that looks quite uh, interesting is uh, Shogun, which I believe is uh, eight eight to ten episodes. I think they're about an hour long, which is the problem. But um, that uh, that looks really good, and that's been getting very strong reviews. Um, has anyone seen it? No, that's the one. Is that on Netflix? No, it's on um, Disney Plus, I believe. I think it's streaming on H- oh, Hulu. Yeah. Might, might be Hulu. Mm. Oh, okay. But um, that looks really, really good. Yeah, I saw it pop up on one of the streaming services. I just couldn't remember which one. Mm. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Um, I think the last thing we watched on TV was Severance. That was pretty mm, good. Yeah, you were saying that that's definitely worth, worth um, taking a look at. Yeah, I would that and uh, what is that? Masters of Air. Oh yeah, that was good too. Mm, that's on Apple Plus, I believe. On Apple Plus, or um, what's that one? Uh, For All Mankind, which is also on Apple mm-hmm. Plus. That's really good. That's in case that's uh, if the Russians got to the moon before the U.S. and then it ignites the space race, and it's different, like a parallel history thing. It's pretty cool. I liked it. Yeah, cool. I have to I have to check it out if I if I ever get the chance. Yeah, the guys who made Battlestar Galactica and Outlander made uh, For All Mankind. All right. So I was just seeing what else is happening in the space that we could talk about. I did have a, a list of talking points. Where's that going? Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Um, if you haven't seen it or not, um, over on X, um, I just want to do a quick uh, shout out to a. Uh, uh, VK or VV Knight apparently he's uh, undergoing his uh, cancer treatment at the moment, and uh, he's got a, a a GoFundMe page going to try and um, uh, if anyone feels uh, feels inclined to uh, contribute anything to his, his hospital costs, and uh, he's also um, selling off um, some of his comic book collections so, uh, to, to sort of fund his uh, his cost his, uh, his uh, hospital expenses. Um, so yeah, I just want to say uh, v, uh, VK, hopefully you're, you're listening out there in the space somewhere. Hope you're staying strong, mate. And um, yeah, hopefully it's uh, not too too uncomfortable for you. Yeah, man, love VK. Um, wish him nothing but the best. And yeah, if you guys can, if you if you can't, no worries. But if you can, go uh, throw a five box or something. If you can, yeah, help with help with, help brother out. That's it. And yeah, that's uh, that uh, should be. I think it's available on his uh, on his X X uh, X space under uh, VK or VV Knight. Yeah, I pinned it up to the top. Ah, sweet. Um, from, uh, from squad. Ah, nice, sweet. So yeah, I thought to give a nice little uh, shout out as well. Always trying to. And you can see him in his videos. He's got like a little bit. He's got more energy in his videos. Mm. I know it makes him happy when you uh when when people comment and yeah. So it's good. I'm glad that he's keeping a surprise uh, on X on his uh on his status on uh, his journey and uh. Yeah, nothing but the best yeah. for that guy. I'm praying for him. Yeah, same. Yeah, shout out to him because I got like more than half of my collection of Wonder Woman and Superman books from him. Oh, really? Yeah, he even got me, uh, what is that? Venom, uh, lethal, lethal Protector number one, Venom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool guy. Very cool. So I just think what else is a, what else is happening in the space that we talk about? So we've what have we talked about? We've talked about the, the coming Ghost Spider drop. We've talked about the, the comic books. Uh, oh, um, Legacy Cows is coming. Oh yes, that's another one's coming, isn't it? Yeah. So the, the Legacy Cows mm-hmm. that's due to drop. Is it next? Is it today? No. On the 29th uh, for right. Twi- right? Yeah, twenty tw- ninth. So that's uh Friday. Yeah. Oh yeah, so who, who's going to be going for that? I'm I am tempted to to to, to go for it because I believe they're forty nine dollars. Yeah, like fifty bucks. Um, 
I'm going for two. I'm gonna go match my two cows with two legacy nice. cows, and I'm good. And Ooh, nice. And yeah. and do and do we know what the uh, the utility is for yet? Do you 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 covered this on the community feed? Go. Um. Well, what I said in the community feed, I said you can go and read it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was um there was like a few bulletin points um or bu- bullet points. Um, I'll go find it and pin it up to the top. Um, but yeah, there's a few things that come with it. And, um, so Friday's one will be the first drop out of four. Oh, uh, okay. They're going to be announced the three other ones, um, throughout the year. TBA, TBD. So I'm just, uh, so I'm just on, uh, Candy's website at the moment now, just trying to see if I can find some information about it, but I'm not sure where to look. I mean, because I don't spend a hell of a lot of time on candy, so I don't know. But we we also got a uh, comic book drop coming as well, I believe. Yeah, that's tomorrow, that's tomorrow. right? Uh, Thursday, yeah. I said, I believe uh, MC covered that on his uh, on his stream. The the coming the coming drop. So if that's something you're into, I definitely uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah. Then also, um, Prez. Um, He's also doing a giveaway for a chance for someone to win um, a legacy cow. Mm. Yeah, I did see that. You got to uh, like and like and subscribe to to Prez and make sure. Let me see if I can find it because I did. I did enter it. Do 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 do. Okay. Okay. So I found. <clears throat> So I found the um the things that come with um getting the legacy cow. Okay. <laughs> um so by collecting a legacy cow, you can unlock new experiences including AR lens. Each piece comes to life with augmented reality compatible with meta platforms. Um you get voting opportunities, so holders get to vote on where and how to pursue the legacy calls in Gotham City. Okay. Um, so yeah, you get voting yeah. power. Um, you can discover more in the Candy 3D Reader. So each call edition holds secrets and puzzles tied to the Legacy Call Saga, and you also get future access to selected experiences and drops. Um, <laughs> Ooh. That's very cool. Uh, so besides those features that I just said, uh, you'll have the opportunity to level up your call with the following enhancements, which are limited edition crafting, exclusive crafting opportunities, and physical object opportunities. Ooh, so there could be a chance for some physicals. Yeah. Yep. Eventually, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, very cool. Okay. That, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. That makes it a little bit more enticing. So I'll pin that up if you guys want to take a look. There it is. And then the drop. The drop tomorrow is the dawn of the Teen Titans, the Brave and the Bold. That's the one. And is, is that for the Teen Titans? Uh yeah, Dawn of the Teen Titans. Um it says Kid Flash, Aqualad, and Robin. Ah uh, yeah. So I, I don't actually know <laughs> I I don't actually know that much about the Teen Titans. I have watched the uh the, the T V show, like the cartoon the for a, a for a little bit here and there, but uh Yeah. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, wait, am I writing? I don't hear anything. No, 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 I'm back. No, sorry, my, my, my app crashed, <laughs> but I'm back. So is my um is my my audio okay? I just gotta check. Yeah, you sound okay. All right, cool. You're good, man. Cool, cool. This is my my system has a tendency of rugging me when stuff like this happens. So yeah, so very cool. So um yeah, if you're able to, sounds like uh, it might be worth uh going for a cow or two. 
because it gets a some a good uh, some utility with it, and maybe even possibly some physicals, which is always uh, always exciting. Anybody going for a call down below? Put a thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up. So feel free to like, like to that. Feel free to to write some comments in the chat there as well if you want to if you're inclined to do so. If you want to come up and say hi and and chat with us for a bit, you're more, more than welcome to do so as well. I see we still got a few few people listening in the background with us. I see Fro's in the house. Fro, how are you, mate? Say NF uh, VV NFT. Tony's still with us. Cashflow Kid. Say how are we, mate? Thanks for dropping in. So also as well, if you haven't seen um, any of Cashflow Kids' uh, other spaces, um, I believe uh, you hold them hold them quite regularly, and um, you do um, uh, like uh, educational uh, reading spaces. If I believe, I think you did one about um, uh, is it the Atomic Habits? I, I, I think that's the right one. I've seen it around around the space from time to time. Or well, that might be someone else. If it is, I do apologize. But again, that is a really good book, and I, I have read it myself. Um, Nino Blue, see, s still see you with us. See Davo still with us. Mahalo, Nas. Humble still with us as well. Richard, Key Collector 98, Giordio, First Steps, and other bloke with a writing I can't read because I don't speak that language. But I do appreciate you spending the time out of your day to come and chill with us. And um, yeah, like I said, this is Webby Wednesdays, episode 51. So 52 next week. 52 is going to have to be a big one because that's going to be a whole year of streaming and uh, having these, uh, these spaces. So we'll be doing some giveaways and some fun stuff, I reckon. To, to celebrate so hopefully you can join me then so let's see what else is all my talking points what else is happening in the space we can talk about so like i said we, 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 yeah, also um if anyone wants to pick up an actual og cow i believe they went down at least yesterday they were down to like 175 on the floor well, let's uh let's have a look. Let's see if there's something. Yeah, you're kidding me. They're that cheap. Yeah, it was um yeah the other day yesterday because I was in um the Batcave space for quite a while, um <clears throat> and I believe I think it was Ellis. He mentioned that it was like down to one seventy five. Oh really? Yeah. I'll be right back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I see. Um, be, be, be careful that, that that credit card might be burning. <laughs> oh, let me just see if I can find it. Okay, come on. That cow, there's so much stuff, but I'm glad it's all in alphabetical order. DC Bat Call Collection. Let's see. Also, does anyone out there own a Bat Cow out there listening in the background? I, I, I don't own a Bat Cow, but... Uh, I would like to own a back cow. <laughs> back cow collection. Here we go. Aha, here we go. The back cow collection. So right now, let's see what the price low to high. Here we go. So right now, the back cow is the lowest one is going on the floor is one hundred and seventy five dollars. Mm. I got logged out and I can't log in. Boo. Oh, Ooh. no. That's right. I'll <laughs> I was just saying that I'm I'm, I'm looking on the uh, site right now. The uh the, the lowest cow is going for 175 dollars on the floor. What is it ugly? It's a uh, it's a green it's green uh, with long with long uh, pointy bits. Um, I think it looks okay. Yeah, my uh, the one I minted was like like lemon lime green with with kind of like the the Keaton cow. Uh, and okay. then I have a black one that really looks like Keaton's cowl that uh, Ooh, nice that I bought for like I think seven hundred bucks. No, so I ain't selling that one. <laughs> no, but no, it, it looks quite nice. It's, it's kind of like a more like a deeper deeper type green, like a like a Riddler type green. Uh, with uh the with long long uh, long cows on it, so it looks very cool with the shiny blue eyes. But yeah, check it out. So if if you're looking to pick yourself up a cow, now now might be the time to do it. It's uh, going for one hundred and seventy-five five dollars. Uh, followed by the next step up is one hundred and ninety, hundred and ninety-one, hundred and ninety-five. So there's a couple there um, below two hundred. Somebody call Kryptoni right away. I know he collects those. Oh, look at that blue one. The one that's going for one ninety-five. I can't. I'm logged out. <laughs> oh, sorry, Alex. Should I look at the blue yeah, yeah. one? Oh, that's it's nice. a two. It's a two-person party. All right. Is that the? Uh, is well, that the? Uh, here, come. Ride your bike over here, and you can see. 
No. Come, 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 come knock on a door. <laughs> but yeah, but that blue one does look nice. Is that the uh, uh, Bat Cow 88771? Yeah, that one. That's a nice blue. Mm, there's a very nice blue. There's oh, another one here. There is another one here, um, Bat Cow 89000, that looks uh, very sort of like Joker ish. 89 zeros. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, not, like not, 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 yeah, $95. 89,000. That's a nice mint mm. number. Yeah. Cannot, I gotta save my, I gotta save my gems. Yeah, I, I, I was gonna say, <laughs> don't look, don't look. <laughs> save do, my gems. Do not be tempted. Do not go <laughs> into, into that temptation buying back cows from candy. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, I've there's like stuff I need to sell because I really got to get to a certain price point. So we'll see mm. what happens. If you see me on the floor, it's because I'm looking for something. Actually, there you go. no judgment. Yeah, actually, that, that that's another talking point. Has anyone actually had, had any luck selling anything on on VV or at the moment? Because I've I've been trying to no. put stuff up for up for sale and just nothing's moving unless you make it like ridiculously cheap. Yeah. So um yeah like I sold a, a stormtrooper today. I have I have more, but yeah, I sold it for like I think fourteen bucks, and I I sold I sold an SR Spider Boy. Yeah, don't judge. Um, I actually prefer Spider Man Seven, which is his FA, so mm -hmm. I have that SR instead. Yeah. Um, I also have Edge of Spider Verse Three that I kept, which is the origin story of Spider Boy. Um, but I just noticed the VV comics they they go quick, you know, because people are looking for a certain artist ratios there's a lot of peach momoko fans and yep. scotty young fans uh I'm, I'm more of a michael turner fan uh rest in love so yeah i've been able to sell those pretty well but like some of the older stuff not really i think i sold a um uh what was it a boba fett um an uncommon the other day for like i think 12 gems that's pretty good yeah it took it took two weeks to sell it mm. That's a, that, yeah. That's the problem, isn't it? Like you know, you might you might get what you want for it. We might have to wait like six months. <laughs> hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Absolutely. Or, you, or don't. Mm, actually, that's a good point. Let's see what the uh, the stormtroopers is going for now because they were they were doing a nice little run up, and I think they've uh, they've retraced retraced a bit. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do a little little market watch on what's going on with the stormtroopers. Do 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 do. Where are you? The storm troops. Yeah, I had I I didn't realize I had six. I thought I went for five, and then I told the oh look, I got six of them. When did I get the six one? <laughs> it just uh, it so, just, just materialized. Yeah, well maybe maybe during when I was like buying because I was like I was trying to go for as many like five as possible, and I only thought I got two, but maybe I got three. Yeah, we'll and see. then I bought two more in the aftermarket. Yeah, well, it seems like um everyone's uh having a good time with the stormtroopers. I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of cool um, uh, AR uh, vault vault building going on with them. Everyone's making their armies and shooting rancors and doing all sorts of fun stuff with them. It's a well, it's a really well done uh, collectible. I got yeah. I give BB props for that. I mean, they made that stormtrooper really well done with the shooting and the animation, top notch. Yeah, I didn't realize like no when when they were shooting, it had like you know the uh, the the blaster reflecting off the armor as well, like you know the red. I thought that was like really nice touch. Yeah, and they can't aim for nothing. No, nope, still can't aim for nothing. So nice to see their their training hasn't improved. Perfect. So here we go. So the common stormtrooper is currently going for sixteen gems. So not too bad, doing above above retail. And our... damn, I sold my 14. Lucky whoever got it. Ah. And our uh, secret rare is currently going for 259 gems and 99 frags on the floor. Oh, there's a nice, uh, nice palindrome mint there uh, available as well for the secret rare. Going for 275 gems, mint number 292. And that's being oh, it's being sold by Benny Beats. So if you want to help help the guy out, that that is available there. And yeah, very cool. 
Did you go for the drop, Alex? Did you get one? For the Stormtrooper drop? Yeah. Well, funny enough, I've, for the, for the Stormtrooper drop, I thought I was going to be clever. And uh, it, it backfired on me. <laughs> So um, at the time, I didn't I, I didn't have any gems, but I had some that I could uh, potentially uh, borrow from. Just don't tell the missus. But um, I thought, uh, what what I would do? Okay, I'll, I'll go. Be, I'll go be smart. I'll, I'll wait to the drop, and then I'll join the wait list. But then if I get selected for the wait list, then I'll just load up gems into my into my account and I'll buy. I'll, I'll, at the very least, I'll go go for one. And but then if I don't get selected, I won't I won't feel heartbroken because it's gems I probably shouldn't be spending anyway. So I was out. And this is also out, out while I'm, 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 I'm out with the kids. They're riding around in their scooters and getting some fresh air. And the drop comes around. And I'm like, okay, here we go. So join the wait list. Drop time. I get selected on the wait list. It's like, wicked. Okay, wicked. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load some gems up into my account now, and I'm going to buy a Stormtrooper. I go, to, I go to load gems up into my account on my phone. What do I get? The spinning wheel of death. And it just does not want to load. So I was like, oh, well, I guess there's no stormtroopers for me. Boo. I was like, yeah, boo. <laughs> you got to go buy a VV comic and then convert over to gems. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, like most of the time it works because like, you know, I can, I can, I just access the, uh, the web, the web app from my phone and I just uh, load up uh, uh, gems using my phone. But um, this time it just didn't, didn't want to work. But I was like, oh well, I'll, I'll keep an eye on the aftermarket, and maybe I'll I'll swing by around, maybe like in a couple of weeks or a month or something, see where the where the prices are sitting. But I tell you what, though, I'm I'm in the same boat as you. I mean, there have been a lot of like ultra rare comics been sitting on, on the floor, at like some ridiculously low prices. I'm just like, oh, I want to buy that, but I can't because I need to be an adult. Yeah, man, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I get it. But uh, I'm just trying to think, what what is the last thing I, I bought? What is the last thing I bought? Good question. Oh, I know what I bought. The last thing I bought is actually the next comic that I'm going to be reading on uh, Relax and Read, which is uh, coming this Friday. And I am actually going to be doing it for the first time. I'm actually going to be reading this comic book in two parts because it is a really long comic book that I did not realize. Oh, and that, the 80 page one? The 80 page one. And that, <laughs> that comic book is the uh, X Men uh, Hellfire Gala. Uh, nice. 2000, 2023, which is number one, I believe. Oh, it's such a crazy comic. Did anybody read that comic down below? That comic is insane. No, and for those of you who aren't familiar, it is the uh, the 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 resurrection of Miss Marvel or, or, or Kamala Khan, I believe. So um, I had a bit of a I had a, a quick flip through it just so I can grab some um some uh, snippets for the uh, the thumbnail uh, but it looks like a good read but yeah like i said it's 80 pages so we're going to do it in two parts so we'll do 40 pages for the first part and 40 pages for the second part so uh stay tuned for that because uh from what i've been told yeah like like you said you told me it's a good story they a lot of things happen in it and uh hopefully uh, you can come come join me for the for the live reading we can we can go through it together if you don't get to the end and you're like whoa then you might have to read it again. Oh, there you go. You might have to stay tuned for the part two. Then part two is going to be the, 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 the crescendo. So yeah, so that's that's coming to be. Yeah, I think that's the only, only thing I bought right uh, recently. Is just uh, yeah, just uh, that coin book. And yeah, I mean, I've, I've been buying like a lot, of, lot more commons and uncommons lately, just because uh, just so I've got something to read for relax and read. But uh, the last. Ultra I bought was uh, Fantastic Four number fifty three, which is the first appearance of uh, Ulc Claw. But yeah, but yeah, like like I've said before, I mean, there's just so much choice on the app now. It's just like it's just hard to sort of keep keep track of everything now. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, no, but it's good. Like you know, I I. Like I said, I reckon what what Vivi's doing is uh, really good. So they're they're making uh making some, some big moves in the space, progressively uh getting getting better every every time, and um I'm I'm excited to see where things go in the next couple of months. I mean like you know we've got the speculation of uh, uh Omi to NFT coming up soon. Obviously we've got more more drops coming. Hopefully we'll get some new new partnerships announced. Announced would be nice to see maybe some uh, some some different comics start dropping on the app as well. 
But um, whether that's um, a licensed thing or maybe Marvel just doesn't want to play ball with anybody else, who who knows? But it uh, but it seems like I mean that seems to be the case at the moment because we've only getting the Marvel comics dropping on the uh, the VV Comics app because we've got obviously still getting the Star Wars ones dropped on 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 the VV um VV app. So maybe there's still like a licensor issue there. Maybe they're still trying to work something out. I don't know. What do you reckon? I I would be I would love to see some boom comics and some image comics on VV Comics and mm. I don't know maybe give it some time and it'll happen. See some Spawn on there. Ooh um, yeah. I don't know about DC since they've been dropping some modern on uh, candy, but with the reader app and what Vivi's doing and that separate website, I, I don't know how DC can not like jump on mm. board and have them release it for them. That reader app is what, what makes it so cool. Uh, I think uh, downloading your comics and just the whole fact it's uh same day, same print. Yep. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like tomorrow, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna go for the comic just because I'm, I'm watching what DC's doing. Instead, I'm gonna go for the back call on Friday. Um, yeah, I stopped buying comics on DC. Yeah, right. Well, it's just because what there's uh that there's nothing you want to go for. You've had a bad experience, or well, no, um, because they don't really have like a reader app like that. Oh yeah, that's um, true. You know, and I, I think the last comic I, I read from DC was like before they moved from Palm over to Candy. Um, you know, I mainly been buying this stuff because we all, you know, believe that these are the digital counterparts and we're collecting them. But um the reader app was always good on DC, but like to be mobile and download is like game changer to me. So mm. yeah, I've uh I've paused. Although I am looking at the cows. Yeah, I, I'm definitely tempted to uh, check out the cows now as well. But um, but yeah, like I said about the the reader app, um, I'm I'm loving the reader app. The fact that you can uh, download your your comics now, which is also a good one as well, considering I've I've got a coach ride coming up soon, so that'd be nice to sort of uh, read read my comics along the way, and uh, also have a potentially longer uh, plane flight coming up soon as well. So that's a, that's another plus. Yeah, man, download like a whole novel. That's it, yeah. Say so stock up. Relax and read from the plane. Ooh, relax and read from the plane. No, I mean, like, doing stuff from the airport is kind of your thing. Yeah, that was like a one time. <laughs> yeah, very cool. All right, well, I'm. F- Unfortunately, I got to start wrapping up the space soon because uh, I got cut a little bit short because I do have to go into into work early today, which is kind of annoying. But uh, also as well, I got to I got to walk to work, which is another annoying thing, which takes me another like four, 40 minutes because the missus needs a car. But um, just before I start closing out, I always like to give everybody uh, the opportunity to come up and say hi and say a few words if you if you feel inclined to do so. If you if there's uh, anything you want to share with us, say how how you went on the comic book drop, your your thoughts or views on what's going on with Vivi or the collecting space, or just uh, want to share a little bit about what what you've been buying and and what you've been doing. So I'm I'm all for it and, and I'd love to give every, everyone that opportunity to come and uh, come and voice uh, give yourself a voice and a bit of confidence to speak in the space if you've been thinking about it. Hey man, yeah, thanks for hosting this space. Um, and uh, apologies if I'm not so active. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> you got like you got like maybe twenty five percent of my energy left. Um, I'm ready to pass out. But you know, for the people that remain, I see you be there. Uh, so VVNFT, Nino, Devo, Mahalo, Nas, Richard, Mean Bean, my guy with the. Um, uh language i can't read and first step yeah thanks guys appreciate you guys um see you guys on the next one yeah yeah definitely so um oh, fro see you yeah. there fro i think yeah. there's japanese yeah i'm i'm, I'm not sure I, I it's either japanese uh or maybe maybe korean i'm sorry i, I do do apologize if we get any of those wrong so like i said i i don't don't speak or read the language so i'm just guessing but um i do appreciate you um because you've you've come in here before, so I do appreciate you coming back, and hopefully you're finding value in the content, and uh, or at the very least finding it entertaining, and and that and that goes for everybody as well. So if if, if you appreciate the content, say so please keep coming back, 
And like I've, like I've said before, I'll keep holding these spaces as long as everyone keeps listening. <laughs> but on that note as well, I want to be, say a big uh, shout out to the WebV Collective as well, which is uh, which is what all these spaces are, are brought to you by. It was just uh, basically you ask yourself, what what is the WebV Collective? What is a strange word we keep hearing in the spaces called WebV? Well, uh, WebV basically started off as a collective's group, but it's more sort of grown into like a, a, a collective space. And uh, it's more just a space where uh, we all come together and we just uh, geek out, really. So um, share our share our love of uh, collecting, whether that be physical or digital, or whether you're into Marvel, DC, say Disney, uh, Star Wars, whatever, whatever, whatever you're into, all that fun geeky stuff. We're all for it, and we just uh, want to provide a space where we can all um, uh, collect and connect with other like-minded individuals and just uh, have fun. Um, whether that be something you might struggle with in the real world. Uh, or just uh, yeah, just looking for someone to just chat with, or just uh, just hang out with. That's what these spaces are all about. And uh, we do have a we do have a Discord. We do have a group chat as well. And um, yeah, if you if you're interested in, in getting more involved with, with uh, what we do, we do occasionally do our, our live streams once a month as well, which is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, uh, don't 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 be afraid to send me a DM. Say so I, I do I do do try and enter all my DMs uh, promptly. But uh, if I don't get back to you straight away, I will get back to you. And uh, yeah, that's, that's that offers always there if any, if anybody wants to take us up on it. But um, yeah, if anyone does have, have anything else they want to want to add to it, um, I'm going to have to start closing out the space. Thank you, Alex, once again for uh, the, yeah the space and um, yeah next week will be a whole year. Awesome. Yes, yes. So stay tuned. Do not miss that one. That's going to be epic. Which is going to be our 50 second live uh, our 50 second space. Which means we've been doing these for a whole year, so it's hard hard to believe the whole year has gone past already, which is a uh, crazy. Can we get someone to special guest show up? Maybe, maybe. Say, so, ooh, who are you thinking? I don't know. Who, who do you think? Come on, guys. What would a year be without him? Well, I I, I can think of one mm. that sort of I I can think of one that could potentially might might show up. Oh. Could it could it be a could it be perhaps maybe a, a long long lost co-host that uh, that was there at the very that that, that very beginning that uh, that was part of this journey along the way but unfortunately had to had to step away to to pursue um in in real life uh things which is which I'm all for just one night we can somehow get him for one night like bro just one night and then go back to uh, life well um, like not even a um, night just two hours that's it that's it two hours one hour at least. That's it, and also considering as well, next week, um, all all, all the clocks should resync as well, so we can get back to doing these at, at, at the proper time, which is uh from eight eight p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and uh, what's that? Eight three. I want to say no three. What's it, Eastern? No Eastern time. Ah, uh, since since daylight savings, like you know, my my time zones have all screwed up, but we should be getting back to to, to normal to normal uh, listening hours come next week because that's when my clocks will change. Just ask Google. Ask Google and ask World Clock. They know everything. Yeah, they know what's up. <laughs> All right, guys. On that note, I'm going to start closing out. So, um, I just want to say a big, big thank you to everyone who came up to speak with speak with us uh, this episode. Big thank you to D and Hinano for coming up to speak. Uh, big thank you to everybody who's been listening there in the background. Like I said, I see Fro, VV NFT, Nino Blue, Davo still with us, Mahalo, Nas, Richard. I see a few few people just step stepping as well. I see soul.eth. So thank you for, for listening in. Uh first steps and um random fellow with the, the language I can't read. They so again appreciate you the moment spending the moment of your time. Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode and gotten a, a little bit of entertainment or value out of it to, to get through your day. And uh, like I said, we've got the big one coming next week, so you can stay tuned and join join us for there. Uh, we also have our weekend show as well, which is our Web View Weekends, which is our co-hosted by uh, which are hosted by myself and co-hosted by a collector's gone digital, Josh, uh, which is a uh, can uh, make a very interesting space sometimes. So uh, if you can't uh, if you can't make this space, perhaps maybe you can make that one because that one's uh, eight thirty uh, eight thirty at night uh, UK time, or that is about one uh, one thirty Pacific Standard Time. I think it's four thirty Eastern Standard Time, but uh, also. Double check uh, your Google clock, and there's also um, uh, the there's also always notifications out there in X as well. So stay tuned for that. 
And on that note, I want to say big uh, again, big shout out to the Webby Collective and uh, to all our our members. We have all all across the place with uh, their own uh, individual projects, which uh, I'll do a quick shout out to now. So I will start off with the Real Uncommon Podcast with Hinano and D, My Collectibles, K Collections, Evolved, Collectors Gone Digital. Big shout out to Double Quill and Chris Severs with their blogs, which they write for uh, for Medium on their. Uh, VV Arcade with his show he does uh, every Sunday and also those amazing uh, NFT drops that uh, he, he drops to his uh, kid arcade holders. Uh, big shout out to uh, Doctor Strange with All Things Strange with his Stack and Slack videos, which he's uh, getting back into now, which is good to see. Uh, big shout out to the Three Biggest Bro, who are co hosts with uh, Arcade on his uh, on his Sunday streams. Uh, big shout out to Shawnee Poo as well, who's uh, re- releasing, uh, releasing a bit more uh, content on his uh, YouTube channel now, which is good to see him back in the game. He's been a bit, bit, bit quiet lately. Uh, big shout out to BE, uh, informant, uh, who does uh, the drop videos, uh, who covers all the drops, which I think he recently did the uh, the, the Darth Vader one as well. Uh, so big shout out to him. Big shout out to Mr. Falcon as well, who does a lot of uh, vault building and a lot of uh, uh, videos as well, which he does with his son. He did this really, really cool one involving the Stormtroopers um, with his son uh, over on uh, YouTube, and you can see that on X as well. So again, really, really talented bloke and uh, really, really fun in real life too. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting him in real life which I'm hoping I'll meet up with him in a couple of weeks too when I meet up with Guri in London, but we will see. Also, a big uh, shout-out to uh, Olga MKC with her Medikitties uh, project. Uh, big shout-out to Ms. Gecko as well, with, uh, with who co-hosts with uh, The Reset with Dave and also co-hosts in so many other different spaces all over the place I've lost track of. Um, I believe she's got one coming up with, um, is it Bill and Gex's Excellent Adventure? Hopefully I get that right. And uh, also does uh, the community uh, calendar as well, which shows you what, uh, what X spaces go on in the space. So a big shout out to you and also a big shout out to Casual as well for uh, hosting his own, his own spaces. He did a he did a karaoke space last week as well, which uh, was very popular and a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend, but um, also does really uh, cool uh, Funko art as well, which is uh, what my uh, profile picture is. Uh, and so I can also see D's as well. Uh, that was all done by by um, Casual. And uh, yeah, big, big shout out to him. Just another amazing member of the space. And of course, the last one, but not least, big shout out to uh, your host, uh, Osman Collect 63, who does a uh, relax and read every Friday. Uh, ooh, but before I continue, Dee's got a hand up. Um, actually, I do have some PFPs made by Casual, but the one I have now was actually made from Evolved. Oh, wasn't now? Oh, yeah. Oh, but shout well, out to him as well, to both well, there, of them. Well, there you go. Shout out to Evolved as well for doing uh, the, the Funko uh, AI art as well, because you guys are a hell of a lot better than I am. <laughs> But yeah, as, a, as I was saying, the, the last one is a big shout out to myself. I've got, a, I also do a relax and read, uh, which I do live uh, comic book readings uh, on Vivi uh, every, every every Friday. Or I try to. And uh, this Friday, I will be tackling uh, the X-Men uh, Hellfire Gala uh, 2023 number one, which is the uh, resurrection of Kamala Khan. It comes back as a mutant. And also a whole heap of other stuff happens. But it's going to be a big one. We're going to do it in two parts. So this is going to be part one. Because uh, it's an 80-page uh, comic, so it's a beast. So we'll be doing the first 40 pages in part one, and we'll do the last 40 pages of part two. So stay tuned for that. And on, on that note, guys, so this has been uh, Webby Wednesdays, episode 51. I've been your host, Osmond Collect 63. Uh, have a good one, guys. Enjoy the rest of your enjoy the rest of your week. Um, stay tuned for what's going on in the space. Have a good one. Take care, and I will talk more soon.